This is the old Hutchison Hospital. I can vividly remember the birth of my two sons, Raphael and Stefan here. At the moment they entered this world, I felt immense joy and relief that they were healthy babies, but I also felt some apprehension about many things. How can I keep my children safe and healthy? That is why having good public services like a local hospital, a well-staffed ambulance service, police on the beat and other emergency services are so important. Then I thought about my children's future. What would they do? Where would they work? Would they prosper? Would they find meaning and purpose in their lives? When I started school, I could not speak a word of English. I had only migrated to Australia from Italy a year earlier with my parents and elder sister. I have fond memories of my school days at Epsom Primary and Gawler High Schools as they helped unlock my potential and deepen my desire to learn. A good education and good teachers enabled me to attend university, the first in my family to do so. It's an opportunity that my mum, Maria, didn't have. Mum can't read or write as she didn't have the opportunity to go to school. This limited her choices in life and has made her senior years more difficult. I strongly believe every child should have the right to a good education so they can reach their full potential. My late dad, Raphael, commenced to work at Holden the very day after we arrived in South Australia. Working at Holden was more than a paycheck. For my dad, it was a key to a brighter future. I still remember, as a boy, attending the Christmas picnics at Holden. I want to ensure that we have a diverse economy providing a broad range of opportunities for young people to gain skills and meaningful work. I believe the community has a role to play in every child's growth and development. Children thrive if they are safe, nurtured and accepted for who they are. Good communities like the clubs, social groups and other support networks in the Greater Borla and Manapara areas make all the difference. We need strong communities. Strong communities hold together in the good times and the bad. Good communities have a rich volunteering culture. Volunteers from all around Gawler and Manapara help run the sporting, recreational and culture events in our area. Having a strong local community that supports people has been at the very heart of my work in public life for almost 40 years. Public and community service means everything to me. At the centre of many communities, families and individuals is faith. As a child, I attended St. Bridget's Church and Sunday School on a regular basis. So my faith underpins my strong belief that every person has a right to be treated with respect and live in dignity. I'm Tony Piccolo and this is my story. And now I want to hear your story and how we, together, can strengthen our community.